Hello there. <laughs> this is me, Georgia May Mossholder. And I'm here today just because this is a special day in United States history. And I'm referring to what's happened with President Trump today. They practically shut down New York City, blocked off streets, <laughs> had all the FBI and police, thousands of them, protecting New York from Donald Trump or Donald Trump from New York. I wasn't sure. Maybe they thought his followers were going to cause a bit of trouble. Their followers do that a lot, I know. But anyway, we were supposed to hear President Trump maybe say a word or two, and they kept showing the room where the Trump Tower and and then he left the Trump Tower and all the streets were blocked off so that he could get to where he was going to be arraigned. And he never did speak when he went in. He just looked very serious and not too happy from what I could see. Who would be, I guess. Anyway, we watched and watched and watched and police and everybody were standing around and and then he went into the arraignment and he, we waited and waited again and finally they thought he might speak when he came out. Well, all the lawyers and news people, that, they left the room and finally Trump left, but he didn't speak again. But I'm told that at seven o'clock Texas time. He's going to speak from Mar-a-Lago. So if you're interested, I hope you tune in and hear what he has to say. I already saw Bragg, District Attorney Bragg, giving his announcement following the arraignment. I'm not going to talk about him. But I am going to look and see what Donald Trump has to say tonight. Okay, that's it. I just, I just think it's kind of sad that we have a president being arraigned for stuff when he wants to run for another election. I don't think that should be done, but I am just me. I hope you will tune in to see what he has to say. Might be worth it. So that's it for now. I'm going to record in a little bit. So I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye. <laughs>